The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about KTS Hell Rail was just released from prison for the hit on uh, No Limit Mad Max. Let's jump straight into it. I know a lot of people probably like, I do get out so fast. Um, first of all, he was uh, he was charged with first degree. Um, they ended up breaking it down to second degree. Um, it ended up getting breaking down again to uh, second degree manslaughter. Uh, he was sentenced to 10 years. Uh, I believe um, in 2018 or 2017, he started his time or something like that, a little bit after that. So if you do the math, that's about, he did about six years in. Six, yeah, about six years in, because you got to think county time too. Six years in on a 10 year sentence. So that would let him get parole early. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but First thing he did, man, was ran straight to the internet to let the world know he out. Um, I think he playing a dangerous game right now, man. You know, uh, he gonna pretty much be one of the most wanted man on the east side. You know, he then took out a known member, No Limit Max. And um, I just hope and pray, man, that with his second chance at life, man, that this brother do the right thing with it, you know. The streets of Chicago, man, is over with. Anybody that thinking that in 2024, they're going to jump off the porch and start game banging or you're going to get in these streets and diss and taunt and you're going to sign a record deal and get out of Chicago, those chances sometimes are slim to none. You know, we see a lot of shorties in, in, in Philly, Detroit, Chicago, Atlanta, Memphis, St. Louis, Montgomery, Alabama. We starting to see a lot of shorties lose their life real, real young because they think it's a game. You know, here it is that this guy, man, he a, he an older dude. You know what I'm saying? He around my age. You know, the first thing you should be doing when you get now, bro, is think about getting to some money. It shouldn't be running to the internet to try to let everybody know you out like or stuff like that. Like, come on, bro. You 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 already got a target on your back. But I feel like a lot of these brothers, man, especially in Chicago, when they do six years, 10 years, I feel like they try to get out and try to catch that time back up. You feel me? They think it was, he still think it's 2018 when he got locked up, bro. The streets didn't change, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who y'all probably thought y'all got had ties with in 2018. Y'all might not even have ties with them people no more. So at least get out first and learn the lay of the land and learn how the streets is moving before you just jump straight in here first. I saw people end up getting locked back up back fast, so they ended up coming about out here and losing their life because they trying to hurry up and catch up fast pace. Bro, you just been locked up the last, what, seven years? Bro, if I was you, I'd sit back and be trying to worry about getting some money, man. Not trying to taunt No Limit, G Herbo, Cairo, all of them dudes. It just ain't worth it, man. You got a second chance at life, man. And if I was you, I would really take it, man, and use it. On top of you already on parole, so you you technically can't be around gang members. You can't be around uh, Za, Lean, none of that crazy stuff. You can't be around straps, none of that. You feel me? So you, you could try to jump out there and be head first, man. And I'm trying to tell you, I ain't seen too many people last too long. Look at Kiddo. Kiddo did 10 years, man. It was locked up within the next year year and a half, man, because he wanted to get out and, and he thought it was 10 years ago. He tried to catch up all that time. You can't do that, man, in, in today's society, man. Sometimes you got to sit back, kick your feet up, see who running what, see who doing this, who doing that. Go spend time with your family. You got any kids? That's what you should be focused on. That should have been your first video is posting with your daughters or your kids, but hey, that's just me. But uh, yeah, man, that boy uh, KTS Hell Rail was just released, man, after getting sentenced to 10 years for the hit on Mad Max. But for those that don't know, Mad Max is a known, uh, known member, uh, no, no limit. Um, I heard from, from, from what everybody say, he was the top shotter over there, you know. But um, a lot of the stuff that Mad Max did went out the window uh, when he um, pretty much gave a, um, a declaration uh, statement before he passed. And he pretty much told that it was um, Hell Real that did it from KTS, which is no secret that uh, KTS slash Lakeside, No Limits slash Drench Game, Muskegon Boys, they've been beefing for years before I even got on the internet. You know, but um, a lot of people say that, you know, um, he was doing this so that so that his No Limit members would know who did it. Bro, it's a difference on telling your family members before you pass what's going on. 
and you giving a, a, a declaration to the to the to the police or the investigator, and that's what he did. If he would have never gave that declaration, Hell Rail would have never got locked up. So some people on the internet they call Mad Max a snitch, but some uh, some people say Mad Max was was a top shotter for No Limit. Personally, if you ask me, man, it's a sad situation. You know this guy lost his life young. But at the end of the day, man, if, if, if you want to go by the street code and you want to say that you're a big gangster, it's a lot that come with it. You know, uh, not just sliding and putting in work make you a gangster. You know, being a gangster is when it's time to go in that courtroom, not not saying nothing. When you get hit up and, and you might not make it, you got to take that to you to the grave. You know what I'm saying? So they can call Mad Max a gangster, rightfully so. I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure he was feared on the, on the east side of Chicago. But you can never talk about the gangster side that he did and then not bring up the other stuff, especially when you're in that lane of street stuff. Now, for people like me that's not in the streets that can care less about what, what respect he did, how many hats he got, cool. But for people that's in the streets that's thriving to be the biggest gangster in Chicago, they not going to let you put his name over theirs when they know that they ain't never did nothing like that. But like I say, it's two sides to every story. The No Limit members say he did that so that they'll know who, um, you know what I'm saying? So so that pretty much he gave a declaration so the No Limit members would know who did it. But on the flip side of that, it cost somebody the last 10 years, close to 10 years of their freedom. So you could say he gangster. Some people going to call him a rat. But at the end of the day, man, it's a sad story, man, how these kids is losing their life, man, at a young age, man, just for a reputation, man, or... You know, just to walk around with their chests out in the neighborhood. That's just my personal opinion. But uh, my condolences go out to Mad Max, uh, Free um, 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 KTS, uh, Hell Rail. I wish you the best, brother. Um, you know, uh, the, the, the streets been changed since you've been locked up in 2018. You know, so I hope you slow down and get it together. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out. But KTS, Hell Rail, the guy that uh, was accused of uh, doing the hit on... Uh, no Limit Mad Max uh, just got released from prison. And the first thing he did was went straight to the internet. Um, I, I wish his brother did the best, man. But he the most wanted man on the east side right now, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But, you know, this the life that they chose, man. So I hope they know what come with it, man. But I just hope and pray, man, that a lot of these shorties wake up and realize. Because five, ten years from now, all of this nonsense that you're doing now, bro, you're going to regret it. You're going to wake up five years from now, your homie's going to be gone, or be lucky if you're still alive, man, to even think about your homie. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out, man. I love y'all. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>